Welcome back, everyone. If you follow the local music scene, you will know the name Rod Jackson. He's been nominated for an East Coast Music Award, and last year he was this province's Male Artist of the Year. What drives him may surprise you. He suffers from arthritis, and his goal is to raise awareness and money for the disease. And despite many difficulties, he's one of the most positive people I've ever met. When the sun goes down, that's when country comes to town. Yeah. Last December in downtown St. John's, country singer Rod Jackson throws a party to release his new CD. Friends and family are there to celebrate what is the latest in a relatively new singing career. Rod has been part of the music scene since the late 1990s, but he is in many ways the accidental musician. His motivation was not fame and glory, instead it was to raise awareness and money for a potentially debilitating disease, arthritis. In 1999, he decided he was going to make his first CD and donate a portion of the money to the Arthritis Society. At the time, he was a sales manager for a major oil company, but Rod was determined to make a major change. And a lot of people thought he was losing his mind. There was a song called Cool Change on the radio. I'll never forget it. And I said, that's what I'm going to do. I stopped the vehicle and I wrote down the phone number. And when I got home, I made the call. And of course, the first reaction by everybody was, oh yeah, you're losing it now altogether. You're just losing your mind. Phoned my brother in Ontario. He said, boy, he said, you know, you know what, what's going on here? What, what are you trying to do? Why are you going down this road? not realizing that it could ever be anything, really. So that was, I believe that was in October of 1999. And the first thing I did was I created a plan. And I guess that was some of the business stuff that I had been learning, create a marketing plan. Uh, really do it well. Do it as well as it can be done, given your limitations of either voice or physical abilities. Do what you can do with it. To understand what drives this eternal optimist, we're going to take a journey back in time. It is a story of how sadness and tragedy can be transformed into something positive. As the saying goes, what doesn't kill you can only make you stronger. Get myself back on the road. Lord, it's such a long way home. Yeah. Rod Jackson was born in Grand Falls, Windsor. His family was large, ten children, and money was always tight. At the age of five, Rod was hit by a car. His injuries were serious, and he had to be treated in the local hospital's intensive care unit. There was head trauma, and as a result of his injuries, he had permanent hearing loss. And to this day, he cannot hear anything in his right ear, an impediment for anyone who plans a music career. As traumatic as that was, an even greater tragedy was just around the corner. Two weeks after the car accident, his mother passed away. Rod was the baby of the family. It is an event that has stayed with him and was the subject of one of his recordings. From my eyes, barely five years old, I saw no laughter. How was I to know? In a room full of tears, I look for mama everywhere. They said heaven called her name. Now she still guides me. She touches my life. She watches over me every day and night. One of the things that happened to me in my accident is that I lost my memory completely. So I had two weeks that I remember with mom. Uh, but I do have memories for sure, I do. I, um, I remember my first day of school. Um, I remember um, a few different snippets of things that happened at the house. And I do remember when she passed away because it, it happened in front of us on the family floor, right in the, right in the kitchen, so. And you were the baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my thing then was, you know, why was, she, why was she on the floor? Why, 
um, why is everybody all upset? Why, you know, it was like more wonderment of just not understanding the whole thing. Uh, but again, I truly believe that it made me very strong from an early age. Strong-willed, uh, and if you're strong-willed, I think you could survive anything, really, you know. And it all grew from there. By the time Rod was 10, he went to live with his sister Linda and her husband. They eventually settled in Mount Pearl. Rod decided that he would attend Memorial University and get a commerce degree. And then, 18 months before graduation, the news came. News that would change his life. I felt really stressed. I remember feeling very stressed that summer. And I think I was going through the exam period when my right knee just ballooned. And I had no idea what it was. Well, they told me I had uh, psoriatic arthritis and that I'd be in a wheelchair by the time I was 35. And I was 22 at the time. So just finishing, getting to the point where I'm finishing university, um, getting pretty excited about finishing university, starting to feel that the ground is starting to uh, fall in place under my feet and that, you know, you're going to be able to get out there and get in a position where you can, you know, live your life and do the things you want, travel and, and all the wonderful stuff that's out there. Um, but that diagnosis really knocked me back and, and I struggled with it for, for quite, a, quite a time. Um, I never had any problems with depression or anything like that. But, you know, for a week or two weeks, I was kind of walking around in a fog. Rod finished his degree and went on to a successful career in sales. A young man full of spirit and ambition didn't want to be held back by arthritis. So for a long time, he hid the fact that he was suffering from the disease. He was afraid of the way he might be judged by his peers and co-workers. Was there some sort of stigma attached yes. to it in a way? Can you tell well, us about I, that? I, I certainly felt there was, and maybe it had to do with, with my own level of self-confidence in bringing that issue forth. But I had a serious health concern, um, and my, again, my performance was never affected. I won sales awards and everything, because I really went into overdrive. Because I said, if I don't, if I slow down, you know, then you're going to give them reason to look at what you're doing. So always outperform. That, that was the way I had to live. And unbelievable number of times I'd be in locations, I'd be out to dinner with a group of people, and I'd have to either run off to the washroom to take medication or take it from under the table and do it when no one's looking, just because I felt that I can't be seen as weak. I can't be seen as weak, because if I, do be, if I am seen as weak, people will have reason to look at what I'm doing and the fear of losing your job, which every, it seems like most families in Newfoundland are worried about that these days. But for me, it was, again, overcompensating, I think, right? And I think that maybe that's why I got involved in the music business too, to really, because with me, a lot of the times it's all out or nothing. Because when I slow down, I get really tired. And, and, and that's just the way I guess the disease has affected my life. High energy is something Rod thrives on. His performance at the Salmon Festival in Grand Falls, Windsor says it all. But don't let the performance fool you. Dealing with arthritis is a struggle, both physically and mentally. When you meet Rod, he looks healthy. You wouldn't know he had arthritis. He suffers from the type called psoriatic arthritis. It jumps from one part of the body to another. Rod has taken steps over the past few years to better manage his disease. He quit his job and started his own company. He now operates a media business. That's his day job. He arranges advertising for clients and produces advertisements like this one for Hayward Interiors. Being his own boss means that Rod can work at his own pace. If his arthritis is flaring up and he's in pain, he can take the day off. Do you have many bad days? I do have painful days. Mm -hmm. But How not, often not to sound like a cliche, but no. sometimes I say any day above ground is a good yeah, day. That's right. Really, yeah. you know. Um, but I'm, as the day wears on, I find the one thing about arthritis is that you get tired. So my energy gets sapped a lot. 
and um, you know I get very pale as the evening goes on because it just takes a lot of energy out of you because your brain is telling a chemical to attack the joints in your body and when you have it like certain types of arthritis would be in one joint only but when you have it in multiple joints it just kind of takes you and saps you of all your energy. Rod no longer plays the guitar. His doctor warns that it will only aggravate his condition. And over the past few months, Rod's condition has improved thanks to a new high-end drug called Humira. It's human protein that's been cloned in a laboratory. The cost is high, about $1,500 an injection. Rod needs two of them every month. Rod has private insurance, but the cost of this treatment puts it out of reach for many people. How many of these have you given yourself to date? This is only my fourth one. Oh, really? So, Rod, this is the, the drug that we were talking about during the interview. That's $1,200 to $1,500 per yeah. injection. Absolutely. And yeah. in just a matter of seconds, it's Gone. in. It's wow. in my body. Wow. So it, uh, I take one every two weeks, mm -hmm. and I guess that could be adjusted based on how I'm feeling. As a result of this new drug, Rod has been able to discontinue the use of other medications, and he would like to see this drug available to everyone who needs it. Rod is feeling well these days, but his original diagnosis is never far from his mind. Remember, he was told he would be in a wheelchair by the time he was 35. That didn't happen, and Rod is hoping it never will. The doctors aren't wrong all the time. <laughs> so. Um, I think that's why I do what I do now. That's the only answer is give it your all because, yeah, I know down the road I'm probably not going to be in a condition that I am in now. But thankfully, the medications have changed a lot since I was diagnosed. And the level of expertise has changed a lot. A lot of people know much more now about arthritis. It's not one of these old person's disease. It's not one of these, ah, a few aches and pains. It's nothing. It's Arthritis destroys lives. It destroys families and people and jobs. And it, it, it just costs the healthcare system billions and billions and billions of dollars. But this is a thousand dollar contribution to the Newfoundland Division of the Arthritis Society. So life goes on. Rod will continue making music and the Arthritis Society will continue to get a share of his profits. For Rod, it's about living in the moment, making the best of any situation you are forced to face, and enjoying what's important, like family and good friends. I'd like to feature my little girl, Samantha Jackson.